sometimes people want to look at everything. And I think it's much better to try and identify where there might be quite tangible sorts of issues and problems. So whatever, whatever they might be, which might not be picked up so well, this kind of psychosocial hazard type bolted on set of measures. I mean, for example, I'll give you an example of this. I think it's really interesting. It's um, job autonomy. Now, of course, broadly speaking, you could say if people have more control at work, it's a good thing. However, my understanding of the best available evidence around this is there's a lot of individual differences. I mean, a lot. Such that for some people, uh, having a lot of control over the way they do their job is not actually particularly beneficial. And for others, it really is. So you get into this more fine-grained thing about what do people want. Now, obviously, it, it's difficult to individualise every single job and design individual job characters for every single person. But going back to the psychological contract, the idea of idiosyncratic deals or ideals suggests that maybe, and things concepts like job crafting, suggests there's something in that. So rather than saying we want to change these features of all jobs so people have more control and more of this and less of that, actually, maybe we need to look a little bit more, although it's more time on the level of the individual. So it's kind of back to the cycle of contracts, back to what do they actually want to give, what do they want to get back, what works kind of for them. Now, that is complicated, but it depends what kinds of results you're looking for. So, But I'll say if there are some serious issues around, then, yeah, I think it's important to deal with it. And the other thing I would say is it seems to me, in terms of initial diagnosis and evaluation, Again, you've probably seen this. People might look at a well-being measure and say, it's, I know, a seven-point scale averaged over 20 items, whatever it is. They'll say, look, it's really good. This thing really worked. We, we took people who were from 4.8 to 5.1 on a seven-point scale result. And I'm always thinking, but if they're already on 4.8, they're probably okay anyway on average. And what you've done is taken a bunch of okay people and made them probably, even in an unnoticeable way, even slightly more okay. And it comes back to this, this is what making me think about this again, it's about tailoring it to specific individuals, but to specific kind of issues and problems. Because a lot of this stuff seems to me, again, not your experience, it's, it's often getting bunches of workers or employees who are basically quite happy and tweaking something somewhere to make them slightly more happy. And I'm kind of keep thinking, but probably amongst that average of people who are really struggling. What about those people? Why aren't we focusing on those people rather than moving everyone up a little tiny bit? Anyway, 